Oh, sweetheart, I wonder what's going on. I don't know. The ceremony's already late and getting started. Hey, guys. Um, I think the problem is that Ethan's mom hasn't shown up yet. And I think Father Lonigan wants to start the ceremony without her. Ivy miss her son's wedding? And she must be tied up in a closet somewhere. <laughs> don't you? Because I wouldn't put it past Julian. Well, neither would I, but what would be the point? Well, you couldn't put anything past those two. Excuse me a second, guys. So what's the deal? We're going to go ahead with the ceremony, even though Mrs. Crane hasn't shown up yet? Well, that's what Teresa ensured, and I'm trying to figure out right now. But, Chad, I'm getting really worried. I mean, I wonder if somehow Mrs. Crane has already seen the tabloid or something. Wouldn't if she had? She'd be here right now raising hell, don't you think? Look, the tabloid's not going to come out till later on today, which means she has not seen it yet, so don't worry, right? Well, I just hope you're right, because when Mrs. Crane does see that tabloid, Teresa is dead. Ivy should have been there half an hour ago. Well, she's not there. I can see that, Julian. What the hell is going on? I, for one, am grateful for the delay. I'm not eager to watch my poor sister writhing in pain as she dies from being poisoned. You'll better be eager, damn it. Because if she and Luis don't marry, you'll be watching her die up close and personal after you put a bullet in her brain. Sam, did you find out anything? There's been no report of Ivy being in an accident. Well, I'm grateful for that. But you know what? I am so worried still. I mean, for Ivy to be this late to her son's wedding, it's not like her. Something must be terribly wrong. Teresa, Sheridan, how are you? Okay, Louise and Ethan are right outside the door. So you guys can talk and work this out without them seeing you, okay? Thanks, Brett. Ethan? Hey, I'm here. I'm here too, Sheridan. Oh, Louise. <laughs> Sheridan, don't let him see you. <laughs> I won't. I don't want any bad luck today. <laughs> Ethan, I know how important it is to you for your mother to be here. But Father Lonigan wants to go ahead, so I will do whatever you want. Uh, Ethan, it's your mother, so obviously this is your call. You know, thanks. I mean, I, I want to wait for her, but this is an important day for all of us. I don't want to spoil your wedding, Sheridan, just because my mother's not here. What do you think could have happened to her? I don't know. I mean, she should be on her way. Look, you know, I guess we could just start. Uh, she wouldn't miss that much of the ceremony. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I waited long enough to marry you. Sure. All right, let's go for it, huh? OK, we'll see you in a few minutes. In a very few minutes. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll bet your mother will be there by the time we get back to the altar. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. I just, just hope nothing's wrong. 